to the backyard machine shop. Well, angles and squares. Uh, the final episode. I know it's been a while. It's just one of them projects that set on the back burner. I did when I can, and um, I've actually had them done for a while. Uh, I, so I took them to work, had them tested on the CMM. They weren't as good as I would like for them to be. I came back, changed my strategy of grinding a little bit, um, and took them back and had them checked again. And to be honest with you, they're okay. Uh, they're usable. Uh, some numbers are really good and some numbers are okay. Um, so what I was going to do, I was going to go over the numbers with you and kind of tell you how well they turned out because that was what it was. It was a test to see how well I could get these done. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in close and we're going to take and we're going to go over the uh, paperwork and, um, and I'll kind of give you the results of the, uh, the, the test. Alright guys, here we are. We have the squares, and um, they turned out. We had a, we ended up with a really nice finish on them. Um, there's a little grinding marks on a couple of them, and um, anyway, like I said, they turned out really, really nice. I, I was, in, I was impressed with the finish. So, what we have here, we had results off the CMM, and um, I'm gonna go over them with you. And what we did is we numbered them, okay. And I have the numbers here, and we'll put them together. So the first, uh, the first angle I have is B3, which is uh, this 45 here. And um, now the results I got from from uh, from the uh, the tests were uh, where they were done in in um, decimal angles. So I've converted them to minutes and seconds, and then I converted that to uh, to inches. So this this one here, B3, which is uh the the first angle was um, turned out to be 44.986 uh, degrees, which translates into 44 degrees, 59 minutes and 10 seconds. So that's telling me that we're off by 50 seconds, which is like 8 tenths overall in 5 inches. Okay, the second angle, which is the 90 degree angle. Now, the 45 degree angle that I'm, I'm talking about, I don't, I don't know which one it is, so it, uh, I'll have to find out. The, uh, the 90 degree angle, it turned out to be 90 degrees, 0 minutes, and 43 seconds. Which turns out to be it, it comes out to be seven seven tenths. So one side of this angle here is to, to each other is seven tenths off in five inches, um, and that's what I think created the problem with the 45 on on that end. Now the other 45. So there's one good side and there's going to be one side that's off. The other 45 turned out to be 45 minutes, 45 degrees, 0 minutes, and 7 seconds, which turns into about a tenth that it's out over 5 inches. So our setup was good. Probably the side we set up was good. The 90 degree is where we had the issues at, and um, that's what needs to be corrected. Okay? So B3, uh, I'd give it a B plus for uh, for um, grinding so let's set that one off to the side okay and our next one now this one here I didn't write down the uh, I didn't write down the uh, the minutes and seconds I looked it up and I don't know why I didn't write it down but I don't have them on here so but anyway it was the worst one of the whole bunch so it is uh, it is B2 which is a 30 degree angle and B2 turned out to be uh, its 30 degree angle which would be this angle here turned out to be uh, 30.0222 degrees which I think I when I measured that out 
and looked it up, it was like one and a half thousandths. So we had one and a half thousandths over the, over the length of this in five inches, in other words, that it was out. And, and that's not really good. The 90 turned out to be 89 degrees, 89.9788 degrees. And, uh, and you'll see in a minute that that's what it's telling us. It's going to be this angle right here is the, the culprit. The 30 degree, actually, the, the hypotenuse is ground correctly, but this, this 90 degree right here turned out to be our problem. The, uh, the 60 degree angle turned out to be 59 degrees, well, 59.991 degrees, which is um, 80, I think it was 80 millionths or something like that. This angle is correct within 80 millionths, but because of this 90 being out, uh, the 30 degree looks bad also. So to fix this, we'd have to come in here and, um, and set up at, at, on this angle, just indicate in this side, and take about a thou and a half off of this point right here because its uh, its angle is running in, in this direction. So, may do that, I may not. But anyway, like I said, that was the worst of the bunch. So, uh, put it off to the side. Okay. Alright, our next angle which is B1, which will be uh, 30 degree. This angle, we scratched them up, checking them. This angle turned out to be, um, let's see, so this would be your 30 degree side. So this angle here turned out to be 30 degrees, 0 0.0097. Uh, well, 30.0097 degrees. Got to read it right. Which turns in, which translates into 30 degrees, zero minutes, and 35 seconds, which is about seven tenths over five inches. That this angles out. Okay. So the uh, next angle we have here is the 90 degree angle, which would be this one. It turned out to be 90.0027 degrees, and that translates into 90 degrees, 0 minutes, 10 seconds. Now, the way I did the math and got these converted to, to um, actually this one's going to turn out to be, I got this one wrong on the math part. Alright, this is 90 degrees, 0 minutes, 10 seconds. And it's going to turn out to be, uh, yeah, I got it right, two tenths. So the 90 degree corner to each other is out, two tenths. Okay. And then the 60 degree corner, which would be this one, is 59.9931 degrees. And that translates into 59 degrees, 59 minutes, and 85, well, that can't be 85 seconds. I'm sorry, 35 seconds. I can't read my writing. So, and that translates into being a half a thousandths out in five inches. So this one's pretty decent. Um, and, it, and it was the same setup. So that just goes to show you how a piece of trash or, or something like that can cause your problems. So let's go to the next one. All right, so this one is um, actually B4. Yep, and that's what I got it marked as. All right. This one was, was the, probably the better one of all of them. Um, the 45 degree angle, and like I said, judging by this, I wish we had marked them as we were checking them. And um, but anyway, the 45 degree angle turned out to be 44.98 oh, I'm sorry 44.9987 degrees which translates into 44 degrees 59 minutes and 55 seconds and that comes out to be roughly 83 millionths so 
one of these 45s is within 83 millionths over five inches. Back to this, one of these is, is uh, like I said, 83 millionths uh, in five inches. So the next corner, which will be the 90 degree corner, which is this corner, um, it turned out to be 90 degrees point zero zero four one which it translates into 90 degrees zero minutes and 15 seconds and translates into two and a half tenths over five inches okay and then the uh, the third one here which would be the other 45 it turned into it turned out at 44 degrees um, 44.9966 degrees and that translates into 44 degrees 59 minutes and 48 seconds which converted equals to less than about it's, it's actually one tenth and 99 millionths so right at two tenths so I'm happy with this one this one to me would be a very usable very accurate and and, and it shows you I could have, I got there. I mean, I wasn't consistent, but I got there with this one. Uh, I mean, overall, it's, it's two and a half tenths out into 90. So that would probably create the problems here. But I mean, two and a half tenths over five inches is pretty good. I think that's about class A, a grade A for for angle plates. Um, the B2, which would be B1, I'm sorry, would be this one. It's within a half a thousandths of, on all four corners. I mean, in one corner was seven tenths, one corner was two tenths, and one corner was five tenths. So I have a set here that, that I would consider, um, you know, okay uh, for precision work. Now, and I, and I, I pretty much hit my goal with that. I think that was pretty good on a 50-year-old grinder. And, um, and, and one of the first times I've ever tried to grind things like this so uh, these two angles here I may come back and work on but in all over in the scheme of things they're accurate enough for for most work um, I wouldn't use them for like measuring but as far as layout and setting up on most things we do they're plenty good enough all right guys that's a wrap uh, wanted to conclude this video series and, and let you know how well they turned out or how bad they turned out however you want to look at it I think they turned out you know reasonably well um, they turned out well enough to use them as a function tool so I'm good I'm glad with that so next time we'll do a little things a little different maybe get a little closer um, I think it was a good uh, turned out good for a 50 year old grinder and and uh, uh, a grinder hand without a whole lot of experience so uh, I learned a lot and um, I'll take it to the next job, and we'll we'll do better on the next job. Um, wanted to mention today is uh, 6:21, so it's June 21st. Um, plan on heading out to California for the next, this weekend coming up for the bash at stands. Look forward to meeting a lot of you guys, and um, and I'll see you there. So from the backyard machine shop, solo.